okay so welcome to this video where we are going to see the center gambit which is a very very powerful gambit to defeat strong players of rating 2000 at online also so this starts with the italian that is e4 e5 knight f3 knight c6 bishop c4 and bishop c5 here we play the move c3 a very delicate and small move with the idea of playing d4 and breaking into the game so now most of the black players, if you'll see, will play the moon knight to f6, attacking this pawn. But what we will do is neglect the attack on this pawn and simply play the move d4. Now this move attacks the bishop just like this and also their pawn. If the bishop tries to escape and goes behind, like let's say bishop to b6, then we simply take this pawn, the knight is attacked, if knight takes our pawn, then queen comes to d5 and we attack the f7 for a checkmate. Also, the knight is hanging and he cannot defend both at the same time. So we will win the knight for sure. Moving behind, here if knight comes to g4 instead, then we can sack our bishop on f7, king takes f7 and then knight comes to g5, discovered, attack and we win the knight. So here you see that going behind is not a good idea with black. What black can do instead is take our pawn. We take again and then bishop check. Knight comes to c3 and then he sees that wait this knight is pinned. And then this pawn is defended by the knight. So let me grab this pawn. But that would be into our trap because we'll just castle. Here now you can see black is attacking the knight twice, so he'll think to recapture it and win a pawn. So if bishop takes, pawn takes and knight takes, the queen e1 and double attack and the knight is lost. So here the bishop can't take of course. If the knight takes instead, then pawn take, bishop takes and it attacks our rook. We will neglect that and play bishop to e3. Now he will be like, wait, what are you doing? Your bishop is covering these squares. Okay, I see. But wait, what if the rook is taken? Then rook e1 check. The king has no way to escape. Only way is the queen has to come in between and then we win the queen with the rook or the bishop. But what if the knight defends? Then rook takes, king to f8, rook takes f7, King g8 and rook to f8 is a discovered check and also this rook is defended so it's a smothered mate in the corner just like that. So here you see the bishop can't take our rook because that will lead to serious consequences. Now black being smart after bishop a3 he sees that it covers a long diagonal. So let me break the diagonal by playing d6. This is a cool move, black would think, but no, this bishop, if you see, has no life. It can't come here, it can't come here, can't come here, can't take this, can't come here, but only can come to a5. So what we do is defend our rook and attack this bishop. The bishop has the only square a5 and then queen pounces to a4, attacking this bishop and this knight is pinned. The threat now, right now, is to play e5 and win this knight. So he unpins the knight just like this with the bishop coming to d7. But then e5, knight moves away wherever he wants to move and this bishop is gone because the knight was defending that bishop and after the move e5, it is a simple tactic of destroying the defender. So d6, which looks like a very good move, also is losing for black. So now you will ask me, so what if someone plays this against me? Then am I losing at all? Can't I defend this position? Yes, you can defend it very easily by not taking, not, by not being greedy enough. So here after castles, what you can do is to play bishop takes knight, pawn takes and then you can simply push this. Now your knight is defended, the bishop is attacked. The bishop moves behind let's say here and then you simply castle with black. Now with black you can come here then you can bring the rook to e8. Yeah so defend it. 
but what i feel is black is a pawn up but white has a good positional advantage white can simply go rook to b1 attack this pawn whenever the bishop comes out then this pawn will be attacked then the queen can pounce to b3 or c2 and this knight will be a point of pressure severe pressure also it will be pinned to the bishop when the bishop comes here so you can try moves like bringing the knight back then pushing f3 rook to e1 and then at the end you will get a position where black is a pawn up but your position will be extremely good and easy to play with so this was a defense that black can play with but i think the center gambit is a really strong gambit with which you can beat several players i have played like nearly 200 games with this gambit and the response is very good so that was the center gambit my friends i hope you liked it put your views in the comment section and if any doubt in the gambit with any moves then you can also pour the comments in the comment section if you like the video hit the like button so that many other people comes to know about this gambit and if you like these tactics and gambits on my channel then do consider subscribing too thank you meet you in the next video stay safe play chess goodbye